wanted to um, show you guys some of these uh, navigation equipment that we have on board here. So we have this GPS map 740 from Garmin. We have this GMI 10 from Garmin. Um, this GMI 10 gives us plenty of information. You can see right now it is our current wind speed and wind direction. Which we get from a little setup on top of the mast there. And um, we can get everything from our fuel level, consumption, the range we can go with it, the wind, we get the wind, we have the pressure, barometer, we have the temperature, the engine, we have RPM, temperature, pressure status, um, we have service speed, the heading, we can set an odometer to see how long we've traveled, uh, the water depth, the water temperature, which is pretty awesome. Uh, most of the time we kept keep it on the wind so we can see the see the condition of the wind and try to sail. And we also have this awesome GPS map 740. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but right there is a fishing boat. And um, you can also actually see it right here, this green triangle on the map. We can hit it and we hit AIS Vessel and we actually have all the information about it here. The name is the Luzon Spirit. It is um, a tanker actually. Uh, I wonder if that's a different boat that I'm looking at. And then um, it's speed, size, everything. We can, um, this is us right here, we can zoom out. Uh, you can see where we are. This is Coos Bay, Oregon. We are about uh, 30 miles west of that. We have a man overboard button in case somebody falls over. Uh, we can navigate right back to them hopefully quickly. Um, we have sonar. We have radar with this little nice device. And um, we can set our destination at the moment we have it set off of. Cape Blanco. So that's the direction we're navigating. And um, it gives us this little purple line to follow which we can keep with our compass here. Beautiful. And we have a little compass up here. We also have autopilot, which we can use whenever we want to just kind of cruise. This is what we're doing at the moment, actually. It's actually a pretty nice setup. As you can see, the steering wheel is turning itself with autopilot. So, anyway, those are most of our navigation equipment. I will, um, show some of the communication equipment soon.